So guys, we're out here in the Hunter Classic once again, and as you can see, we are in a empty trophy lodge, which means it's time to start the next trophy hunting series. Uh, and we are on Timbergold Trails. The three maps for this series are going to be Hirschfelden, Timbergold Trails, and White Rhyme Ridge. And we're starting off with Timbergold Trails because I feel like that's going to be a good map to kind of set a baseline. So like smaller animals for this hunt, I'll probably mount just to get like something on the wall and something to try to beat in the future. But yeah. Those are the three maps. I'm really looking forward to that. And the weapons I brought today, I brought all of my favorites. The 9.3, the brand new Forest Camo Reverse Draw Crossbow, and the 10mm Handgun. So I was planning on fast traveling. I was moving down to get to within uh, one camping supplies range. And we've got two decent bull elk here. I think this one is the bigger of the two. Yeah, 310 to 405. He's definitely better. This cow might mess with things. We're going to use the 9.3 because uh, I'm fast traveling immediately afterwards anyways. We can just get a uh, outline to come up. And just like that, two big bull elk down. I don't think we're going to mount the second one, but the first one, I think we probably will throw on the wall just to get a baseline. We know he's over 310, so that's a pretty decent bull to start with, and he is right down here in the water. But let's see what we've got for a score. 340, actually better than I thought, and a double neck bone, a spine, and lung shot. Not too bad for not really being able to see him. Not a bad looking trophy shot, and what a way to start off the new series. Our first animal is one that's going to go on the wall. And we'll go see if the other one tops 300. If it does, and I don't think it's going to, uh, we will mount him, but I think he's somewhere like 270s or 280s. Yeah, the frame and everything on this guy really doesn't look as big, so I can't see him topping 300, but he's a decent bull elk for sure. 269 on the score, and a neck bone 3 and left lung shot on the run. Pretty happy with that. We've actually got an even better bull elk than the first one. This guy's got two back tines and some very even fronts as well. Another 310 to 405 score estimate, but I know he'll be like 350s or 360s from the looks of it. And this little guy, I probably won't even take. We're going to use the forest camo cross, but now that we're uh, actually in the area I want to be hunting, of course, I want to be as quiet as possible. And this guy is closing in on 20 meters and stopping just perfectly for us. So let's go for that. He is down, the rest of them are going to run off, but that should be our second wall hanger of the hunt. And there is a deer out there, which I think is a doe, but I should at least take a look at that uh, before we hop down. Let's see. Uh, yep, it's a whole group of does. Doesn't look like any rares that would be worth mounting, so... Hi. Uh, let's grab our bull elk and then we'll move on to the next area. But yeah, this guy is looking pretty decent. I'm excited to see what he scores because it's always good to get a couple of nice animals on the wall to begin with. 366, not bad at all. Double lung shot at 22 meters and he is going to be our second elk going on the wall. I don't think I could have asked for a much better start. We'll get that trophy shot and mount this guy. And I think one of the elk is walking around here. It's just a female, but let's see if we can get a shot on her while she trots over there. I can't actually see anything. I can kind of see her there, but you guys can't. Or at least, probably not. Let's get over here. And she is down. Just a little bonus kill as we move on. I'm going to go to my tower, which is uh, right over here. If you guys have watched pretty much any of my hunts on typical trails, you probably know which one I'm talking about. But looking on the map, it is right down here. So we're going to walk to that. We'll probably sit there and call for a bit, see if we get any wolves, mule deer, or elk to that spot. But a double lung shot on our elk from 28 meters away, not too bad, and let's jump to our tower. Oh, that's a buck. Let's get back in our tree stand and kill on the buck then. I am so glad he grunted 220 to 250. That is the maximum score estimate on a mule deer. He doesn't have the long main beams, but everything else looked really good. So I think he's like 230s probably, maybe 240, but I don't think he can reach 240 with the size of his main beams. But what I said about uh, smaller animals on the wall because I need a baseline, I kind of think I lied about that. We've already got... Two pretty nice elk and what should be a monster mule deer. This buck is absolutely huge. I didn't realize it when we saw him across the lake how big his frame is. Let's get the spotting scope and take a look at that because he is just giant. I did not notice that he had that kind of frame. But yeah, his main beams were the only thing lacking. They are the same, so we're not going to get a major deduction from it. But if he hits 240, I wouldn't actually be that surprised looking at the just size of his frame. But yeah, I think those main beams would have to be longer to really be a 240. 45 meters and closing the next time he stops I'll probably take him with the crossbow I equipped crossbow tracers just because he's that big and I think he's worth it so hopefully he'll stop like not five meters away so we can actually see the tracer flying for a minute but looking pretty dang big from behind that bush just an absolutely enormous frame which like I said I just didn't realize it when I saw him across the lake I knew he was big but I didn't realize he was that big Let's see if he'll stop somewhere in there somewhere in the open preferably maybe there we go. 
Not perfect, but we'll go for it. And just like that, a massive mule deer buck hits the ground. We've got more bucks coming in. Uh, I think they're all going to spook anyway. Yep, they're all gone. None of them are big. I did get a look at them uh, while we were waiting for the biggest one to come in. So let's see what this guy scores. We're just so lucky we got the grunt. And actually, now that I'm realizing it, he is not the one that grunted. One of those other five actually grunted, and that got me to stay in the stand. But let's see what we've got here. 229, almost a 230, but that'll actually be my biggest mule deer in any of my lodges. And of course, it's going to be in our new Let's Go Trophy Hunting Lodge. What an absolute tank of a buck, and with the brand new Forest Camo Reverse Draw Crossbow, no less. And I just had a Bull Elk Bugle. I'm guessing it's the small one from before, but with the luck we're having so far, I don't think uh, that I can just assume that. I'll probably jump back in the stand and call him in. If it's just a small one, we'll get him and finally get to that tower. But what a beast. 229 going straight to the wall. Looks like it was him, but I guess they can't all be monsters. Three already. I don't think I've ever had a classic video start off that well with three really nice animals, regardless of whether the 340 and 366 uh, are actually, like, really trophy class. They're not bad, and the 229 mule deer is pretty darn good. But we'll just get this guy and finally get to that tower. I'm just going to spook the cow elk there, I think. We have spent enough time here at this tree stand. But double lung on this guy, 191 score, and actually, I should probably try to take the elk uh, and get her out of the way. That way she doesn't spook anything that's over there. Let's just get her out of our way. My... New mouse sensitivity is messing me up a little bit, but I've managed to pretty much get it figured out. I think I need to change my DPI just a bit when I'm done with this, but we'll roll with it for now. I mean, maybe it's the reason we're getting all kinds of lucky, but who knows? Double lung shot on her, and we can finally make our way to the tower that I mentioned. Looks like we managed to get a gray wolf coming in. It is a male with a pretty nice weight and score estimate. We definitely want to take that one out. We've got the reverse draw crossbow for that because there is some other animals around and he is out of here. That's probably a pretty nice wolf because I've had them pretty much come under the tower before. Well, I guess we're going to leave everything here. I've got a tree stand down there by the river. I'm guessing he's going to end up down in that general area. I think that is our wolf on the bank right there. Let's see if we can spot him with the binoculars. Let's see if it is him. It is 65 to 85 kilograms, 15 to 17 score. And we saw how calling him in went at the tower. I think we should just take him with the gun before he trots out of our lives. Try to get that centered with the 9.3 absolute cannon for anything the size of a wolf. But we will go grab him. I think we might have potentially our fourth animal for the trophy lodge already. Let's see what we've got for a score on this guy. But with the weight and score estimate being pretty high, I think it should be good. 16.063 so he's pretty much at the minimum of his weight estimate but a 16 plus is definitely not a bad wolf i think we'll throw him in the lodge not looking too bad and taking this many trophy shots already is definitely a good sign i like where this is going and we've got another little mule deer buck here 125 to 155 he is 30 meters out and closing i guess we'll just take him with the reverse draw crossbow and move on i'm just moving up the river at the moment i've got a tree stand up in the y of the river that we're going to probably stop at for a bit our buck is down, and as we move that way, I'll show you on the map where the tree stand is. That's the one that I've got marked there right here. Tends to be a really good spot for both mule deer and wolves. Occasionally, I get an elk there as well. Actually, my only rare Rocky Mountain elk was shot right behind that stand, so it can be a good spot for all three species, but we'll grab this guy and move in that direction. 134 score for that guy. He's actually bigger than I thought. Not too bad. We've got our first grizzly bear of the hunt here. Not huge. 17 to 24 uh, pretty low weight estimate as well, so I don't think it'll be anything worth mounting. I'd pretty much want a 24 plus, I think, uh, to mount, because we've got two bear maps. We've got White Rhyme Ridge and here, so we don't have to have, um, four grizzly bears. So I kind of did the crouching and take a shot method there. Hopefully that worked, although apparently not too well, because it is still running off, but it might go down. Yeah, it just did, so probably a single lung or maybe liver. Not too bad. We do have intestinal blood, so probably liver or maybe even stomach. I thought we had an angle uh, to where we should be getting, like, liver, stomach area, but I actually thought we'd at least catch a lung. But regardless, he is down right here. And it was a liver, stomach, intestine shot. 19.7, definitely not anything special. I did have a 250 to 350 track, uh, although I'm not that high tracking grizzly bear. 
I think I might follow it though. We've got a couple of nice elk, we've got a nice deer and a nice wolf, so we might as well try. So this is the bear that we've been tracking. 260 to 320 kilograms is not bad. Uh, 21 to 27 score estimates, so probably not a monster, but he could be decent. Hopefully he's at the top of the estimates there. I think he dropped. Yes, he did, so we can go up and see what he scores. Hopefully he's something not too bad there. Like I said, like 24 plus, I think I would probably mount... We do have polar bears as well from White Rhyme Ridge for this particular lodge, so I don't have to worry about mounting like semi-decent bears just because I have to get four from the same species, so hopefully this guy's going to be decent. 21.8, so unfortunately pretty much at the bottom of his weight and score estimate, so not going to be mounted, but I'm glad we tracked him and I don't uh, feel like I left a monster out there. We've got another decent elk here, 220 to 315. He's definitely not a wall hanger, but he's not a bad bull. Might go like 280 or something, and I'm not seeing any others coming in from anywhere. There's like a cow over there, but I think she is alone, so we'll just take this guy out. And we'll probably sit here a bit longer before we go down and get him. Nothing else special coming in, so let's grab this guy. Got him with the heart shot, so not too bad there. 274 score, definitely not a monster, but I think we'll try to get one or two more animals. Maybe we can get one more for the lodge, and then we'll go back and see what we've got. So I've just fast traveled to this tent, and we do have a buck and a doe out here. The buck doesn't look anything special. I don't know where he just stopped at. There he is. 105 to 135, and let's see if we can stick a crossbow board in him before he goes anywhere. Not too bad, the doe didn't even spook. I think I'm going to go back to my tower, which is right back there in that field. I don't go there very often, but usually it does tend to have some nice deer around it. I'm not even going to worry uh, if that doe spooks. The only thing is if there's a bear around here, which is fairly common. I tend to get the brown bears in this area, or the grizzly bears rather, in this area reasonably often. But I don't see any here. But got this guy in the spine 1, 115 score. Not too bad, and let's head back towards this tower. And we've got another pretty little mule deer buck coming in, 90 to 120, we'll just take him with the crossbow and move on. Hopefully we can get like something decent at least to end on, even if it's not quite worth going in the lodge. But I definitely don't want to end on a buck of that size, and I definitely don't want to end on a shot like that. Unfortunately he turned just as I was shooting, and I missed the heart just by a bit, but I'm pretty sure that should be a single lung and probably back into the intestine, so he won't go too far. And as expected, he really didn't go all that far, not even a minute wound time, just a single lung shot though, I thought we'd penetrate back into the intestines, but regardless, a 105 score, and we're going to move back towards our tower. We've got another decent looking bull elk right here in front of us. He kind of snuck in behind this tree. I don't think he's huge, but he's not bad. Uh, 225 to 320. And he is down. I was tracking another max weight one, and he called, so I thought we'd take him out. And I think we'll go track that one, and hopefully he is decent, because that's probably going to be uh, the last animal that I've got time for. But a 272 score for this guy, and let's go finish tracking down the other one. And apparently that is my 25th forest camo reverse shot crossbow harvest. Not too bad. So this is not our bull either. 240 to 335 is not bad, but I think he's going to be on the low end of that. He doesn't have any back tines, and his frame is not all that big either. He is walking right into my crosshair. He is down, and we can continue tracking the other one, which will hopefully be decent. The thing with the Rocky Mountain Elk is uh, max weight track really does not mean that much, because pretty much every bull is that max weight estimate. Like even this guy is a 331 kilogram, but 285 score, not too bad. And this guy had just fled not long ago, so we shouldn't be far. So unfortunately our elk's tracks went straight up a cliff and I could not find where they went. So I decided to go for broke and fast travel up here to the mountains. And we do have a decent big horn out here. I don't think he's big enough to go on the wall. I believe that's a 140s uh, ram, but let's see what we got for a square estimate. 125 to 205, so I guess there's a chance, but I'm pretty sure he is in that 140s range. We'll take him out with the 6.5. I switched weapons just because I really like the 6.5. It's one of my favorites. We've got Bighorn running absolutely everywhere. I did saw three different males, I think, up here. Uh, and unfortunately, the one we just took was the biggest. But if we happen to see another good one while we run over here, that would be quite nice. Otherwise, we're going to grab this guy and jump down to the lodge and see what we had during the hunt. Unfortunately, no other sheep in the area, but I really can't complain. What a start to our trophy hunting series with the amount of nice animals we had during our hunt here, but let's see what this guy scores. 141, pretty much as I thought, and we will head down to the lodge and see what we've got. So not a bad start to filling our lodge. Two pretty nice elk and a really big mule deer, which I'm pretty confident is actually gonna stay. The elk, hopefully we can replace the 366 though, is not too bad. And our wolf right here, which I'm actually quite happy is the darker variant, 16.063, probably another one that is likely to stay for the entire lodge, but who knows, maybe we'll kill some other monsters that will end up replacing them. But with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, 
and I'll see you in the next one.